What is up, all you crypto fans? Hold up, guys. Let me show you something really quick. I just upgraded to the new Logitech Webcam Viewer Pro 4K, 420, 365, whatever. And I just upgraded my camera. So I'm looking a lot better now, guys. You can fully see my handsomeness right now. Excuse my hair, though. You know how it is. But let me give you guys an update, guys. I'm going to give you guys an update on Slotties because Slotties, they just, if you guys don't know, Slotties is a metaverse casino. They're trying to become the first casino in the metaverse. And it's an NFT project that the pre sale just went live today. So we're going to be talking today. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of updates that you guys wanted to know about, about some of the projects that we've been involved in very heavily. So first, the one we're going to talk about is Slotties. Then we're going to talk about Ring Financial. We're going to talk about some of their makeshift Ring Financials that are out there. And we're also going to talk about some strong uh, information as well, because all the stuff that we're investing in is bringing us a substantial amount of passive income. I do believe Slotties into the next one, just based upon what they are trying to do, trying to be the next casino on the metaverse and realistically you guys the way i see it is the next person that's actually able to have the next casino in the metaverse is going to go huge all right because already casinos right now with what's going on right now casinos are huge in general everybody goes to the casino. everybody knows what a casino is and casinos they have big bucks guys the person that's first able to have the first like gambling thing in the metaverse is going to be huge, all right? And the way I see it is that how Slotties have established themselves so far, it looks like they have the best chance to become the biggest casino in the metaverse because they're massive backing, the massive following that they have. And because they're doing it first. You know what I always say? I always try to invest in the things that bring passive income, that's a utility, and that just do something new or do something first. Slotties is doing that. So let's talk about some of those projects right now. So. First, let me bring over to Slotties, all right? Let me share my desktop two over here. All right. Oh, let's say don't switch there. All right, this, I got a new screen over here too. So it kind of looks a little weird on my end. I'm sure it's not gonna look like that on your side, whatever. All right, so Slotties got here. So guys, let me tell you something what happened. So Slotties came out on like 7 UTC, 2, U, 2 o'clock Eastern PM. And they got hacked, guys. They got hacked big time. It was crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, what was happening? It was go people going wild in this chat room today. All right. As you see here, by what I pulled up, I Discord is hacked. We restrict every channel like me. We'll after these hammers and get back to you. All right. Whatever. It's not a big deal, though. All right. So we got in the pre-sale. So what was it? Yeah, every, everything is down here right now. And they're talking about it. All right, but what pretty much what happened is during the pre-sale at two, uh, you had an hour to get your one slotty for 0.08 ETH. And it was on the website, but pretty much what happened is that an announcement section here and some bot, I forgot what the name was exactly, but some bot came up here and gave a wrong link to a fake account. Um, I guess some people screwed, got screwed over there. I mean, I personally didn't because I already knew what the website was and I checked the official links. Um, but long story short, guys, let me give you a couple of stats that are just blow your mind. I haven't seen, well, I've actually have seen this before, so I can't say that. But what I'm trying to say is that how it worked was there's two pre sales. The first pre sale, you're guaranteed one ticket, the ticket you then mint it. That one ticket, so I'm getting caught here. Come on, can you tell I'm recording something? Why are you calling me? <laughs> I'm not, not, not. So, guys, the, the first pre sale, like I said, I was going for 0.08. And you got like an hour to get your first ticket and then mint it. Or you're not to mint it then, you have a week to mint. Then from there, after that, at around three o'clock, the next pre sale comes up and you can get up to two more on the pre sale for the same price of 0.08. You know what's crazy, guys? That second pre sale went down in five seconds, five to 10 seconds. I couldn't even get in. Right? I was on there, I was trying to mint two more, and I couldn't get it because it was just lagging, all right? Because sort of people were just jumping in there. As soon as it happened, guys, it was like that, all right? Literally, I don't know how many it was in the second pre-sale, or like 2,000. I mean, they all got minted so freaking quick, guys. It was crazy. I've never seen that happen. Uh, the second pre-sale, I've never seen that happen. It happened so quick. Maybe somewhere else. Maybe it could happen somewhere else. Comment down below if you see another pre-sale go like that. That's successful, but I didn't. Public sale went out in under five minutes, by the way. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes is the public sale. The public sale lasted five minutes. 
I'll, I managed to get another one on the public sale for 0.16 ETH, I think, something like that. I wasn't really concerned about the price. I think this is going to be a great project. I wish I got two more there. Uh, I was just hesitant. I just wanted to get something now because I don't want to miss it, you know? I just put it before the pre sale I tried to put in two and it didn't work. So this public sale, I was like, you know, have it. I, gotta, I just got to get something. So I just put in one and I just want to get it, All right? So right now, two slotties, one for 0.08, one for 0.16, something like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for, I think it's going to take a week for the random slotties to actually go out and show you what you have. See if you got any rare trait, rare, excuse me, see if you got any rare traits. Hopefully by then it will be open up on rarity. So you can see what's rare. My goal from there if, if, is if I don't have a rare one, I'm probably going to try to flip that and just make all my money back. Second one on my hold, and then I'm making another one that's more rare uh, because I definitely see this project being a long-term project. Look at the Discord members over there, 119,000. It's freaking crazy. Got my little Duncan over here. So I'm trying to say, guys, this project so far is looking like a crazy success, crazy W, except for the fact that they got hacked. All right? I'm sure people got screwed over there. Uh, I didn't. Uh, hopefully I didn't. <laughs> I'm saying that now. <laughs> Next video is like, oh, I got screwed over. No, I didn't. All right, but let me show you what it looks like. So um, let me pull up my screen. So I'm going to show you what they look like, kind of. I don't think it's going to pop up here. All right, so this is what they look like. Like I said, they're probably released within a week. This is the two I mentioned. I wonder if I can see it. So that one, no, I can't. Yeah, so they're gonna be mentioned in a week just to avoid NFT snipers is what they say. So I got two here. Pretty psyched about those. These distal mice, these zombie toads, interesting stack toads, interesting guys, these things. Yeah, so we got over here. Let's talk a little bit about what just happened. Talk a little bit about Ring Financial. I'll give you guys some updates on what's going on here. Ring Financial, I guess like everybody's getting hacked now. Like I don't, I don't get what's going on. <laughs> really? All right. Ring Financial also took a hit. If you guys don't know already what Ring Financial is, Ring Financial is a is a DAO of like thirty different yield farms. For so, for example, it has like Strong, it has Olympus, it has Wonderland in there. Let me show you what happened. For those of you that don't know already, let me hop over to CoinGecko and we show you exactly where the price dipped and show you exactly what happened here. And also, let me show you facts of how strong Ring Financial really is as a project. Can we share this screen over here? I think I'm sharing the screen. Let me just make sure and double check. I'm sharing the right screen. So I don't know if they compete, art, art. All right, cool. Ring financial over here. So let's put it to max. Like you said, it's a new project. Past seven days will be fine. Over here, two big hits. Right here, we went to 173. At one point even, it went to like $90. But the reason being, the reason why I did that, so over here is all recovery. The reason why I did that is because Two times, the two points is really right here and like right here, I think. Somebody figured out a way to get a whole bunch of ring and then quickly sell it. And it's like 2,000 ring or something like that. And it dropped the price and plummeted the price hard. It went up again and it did it again. Like seriously, the ring financial out that happened twice? Guys, get some better F developers. But no worries. It just proves how strong of a project this is. But look, it just bounced right back up, guys. Right now, it is at 375. Popped right back up. But let me show you something that's actually kind of sad uh, because, well, not sad. It's just that a lot of people are effing pissed about this. Let me give you some insights on kind of what happened. Oh, no, my Ethereum is what I do. Uh, my ass is not bad. Uh, Binance. Yeah, so who might as well? 
So let me show you what happened. So I'm on here, guys. Uh, what happened? Change. Oh, I forgot to press connect wallet. Look at this. First things first, I'm a realist. How the song goes? I don't know. First things first, you can tell none of my names are here. And I'm kind of annoyed with that because I thought my names were so funny. <laughs> I was really digging them. Second thing is, all my ring rewards are gone. I had like six here before. And so I was looking at the Discord. Some people lost quite an amount of ring because of what happened. Because they updated everything, something in the contracts. Like they, the ring financial hired another team to be able to look through the contracts, all the smart contracts, and make sure everything pretty much is safe. And when they did so, they refreshed everything. Everybody lost all the rewards. And everybody was fuming in this chat. Let me show you what I mean. Let me hop over to the Discord chat real quick. Club. Uh, let me see. There was somebody talking about how he lost like a dumb amount of notes or a dumb amount of wrong ring. Uh, let me see. Where are you? All right. I don't want to just waste the time trying to scroll through that. Matter of fact, I don't want to waste my time scrolling through that. But pretty much, people lost a lot of ring. Like somebody, for example, lost like 200 or 300 ring that they had in there. I think it's like 300 ring. That's a lot, all right? And if you do the math, 300 times, 300 times 300 bucks, 300 times three, 90 grand. I think that's a fucking lot. I think it was 300 ring, he said. And now I want to find that. Maybe to command F, three zero zero. Don't be dumb. It's not even uh, I don't know. Can't find it. Whatever. What I'm trying to say is people lost a lot. People got furious at these developers. I mean, if I lost 300 ring, oh my gosh. As long as you claim them, you're good. The problem was like, when this hack was happening, I was trying to claim my shit too, but I couldn't claim it. And that was what everyone's pissed about. Another thing people were pissed about is that the people, like the, what they did to kind of recoup the losses, I guess, is they did this over here. So you can see to reward the next 3,000 node, we trade, it's only going to cost seven ring instead of 10 to make a node. But what people were pissed at is that they're rewarding everybody. They're not rewarding the people that already have nodes, you know? So people didn't like that marketing. I mean, I don't like that at all. Like I lost six ring, which six ring consider it as. So like three, 300 bucks, 300 let's say times six. I lost around 1800 bucks. Imagine other people probably lost a whole lot more. All right. What I'm trying to say is people are furious about it. I'm, I don't really give a shit. Whatever it happens, shit happens like that. But people want, People want these developers to. People want these developers to like help out the nodes, which makes sense, not just help everybody else. People want these developers to do something to help out the people that already have nodes, not just help out everybody else. Is like trying to recoup their losses, you know. So this right here, and I agree with this one hundred percent. This doesn't make any sense. Having this, they should have gave everybody that already have nodes, like. An additional amount of rewards, maybe like 0.1 rewards for the next 10 days, just to kind of make up for it. That would have made sense. But what they did instead is that they made this. And that doesn't make too much sense. I'm trying to say. And, but whatever, guys, shit happens. Overall, it's a fantastic project. You can even tell by the way the price bumped right back up so quick. Next thing we're going to talk about is. A couple of other, um, we're gonna talk about a couple of other ones that are similar. For example, I've been talking about with my buddies, we have a couple of other ones, like everybody's copying this idea now. So if you go to Twitter, you go over to like, everybody's copying this node idea, like literally everybody. So if we go over here and we go over to my search bar, once it loads up, you go over to node, uh, samurai nodes is the first one, and we're talking about all these. 
Samurai Node is the first one I can think of right in the back. Um, I don't know where this is going to go. I was looking at the Discord. People aren't really happy about what's kind of going on in this Discord. Uh, I might just hop on this just to see. But the Samurai nodes are having a lot of problems. Pretty much trying to just replicate exactly what Ring does. But on the, what network was it? On the Samurai network, which was the Phantom network. Exactly what they're trying to do. Same exact SHIT. Uh, let me show you what it looks like, actually. Same idea, launch app. Literally looks exactly the same. All right. Uh, it's cheap right now, too. But like I said, people are having some problems with this. I mean, but people are also having problems with the ring. So I'm not suggesting that this is a bad buy. Uh, I might probably hop in this once I get a little bit more ring up. Honestly, I might be able to take the, my ring rewards that I have right now at 300 bucks. Because right now, Samurai might cost like, it costs like a grand part to get in. Uh, Katana, let's see. Let go to buy Katana. FTMC USDC. TUZC USDC is the same, but let's see how much one katana is. The twenty one bucks, and you've seen you know, uh, 21, 21 times one thousand. Twenty one grand. But no, that's not right. There's a times a hundred bucks. Let me see. Oh, 100, so you need, it's not over like two grand, kind of the same price as ring. I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna wait so I can roll into my ring into this project. It's just so I can kind of like diversify my assets. Um, but like I said, even Katana over here, Samurai, this project is also having some uh, problems as well. Um, Samurai, what was the other one I was talking about? We have Node on Protocol. Um, proto, protocol. Once again, literally the same exact thing. Uh, load on protocol. It's the same thing, but instead of Phantom, instead of Binance, it's on the Avalanche network. I wonder if I'm even in this Discord yet. Let's double check. And then we got another one. No, I'm not on it just yet, but now I'm going to be. And then we got another one. Samurai knows you just talked about that. Yeah, does Nodem Protocol have a website? Not yet. But we have one more Infinity Cash. That's all it was. Infinity. Infinity Cash Official. We have another one. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> All right, let me pause this to be send this to my buddies real quick. This is actually kind of funny. All right. All right. So someone told me in the comments below that this is another cool one. But check it out. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mess in this one, but that's we gotta be careful with all these like dip, duplicates, duplicate, duplicate. There's all these duplicate DAOs that are trying to do the same thing as like Ring and Strong. You gotta be very careful, right? Because this can happen to you. You can put money in, and you can just have to lose it all. Stop buying. The coin is dead. We got hacked. Either got hacked or is a rug pull. <laughs> Let's see how much it is. Oh, it's dead. That's like D-E-D, -E -D, dead. LOL. Well, that happens. But those are like a couple other ones. Um, I don't recommend hopping into Samurai just yet until I tested it. Um, 
So give me another couple of days so I can roll some of my ring into Samurai. Make sure it works, guys, so I can, you guys can hop into them. Right now, I do believe ring is a good buy-in just based upon the Discord. The support isn't the best, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I try to contact them. I talk to the developers. It just isn't the best support that you guys... I mean, that's kind of how all these projects really are. A lot of these projects, the support isn't that great, honestly. Because they just have so many people asking questions. You have so many people saying, oh, we're cool, we're cool, stuff like that. So anything goes wrong, like this hack, and this hack happened with Ring. Yeah, everybody got pissed. Everybody was so going, everybody was going crazy. <laughs> you know? I mean, so many people lost so much money too. So it kind of makes sense. Um, and they don't allow you to claim out the money. But hold on to Samurai, is what I'm trying to say. Check it out, follow them, hop in the Discord. But hold off on it for now. Ring is a safe bet for now. Next thing we're talking about is we're talking about one of my favorite, the, the passive income producing asset that kind of just started it all of nodes. You know, the node to all the nodes, strong block. I'm sure you guys know about strong. Right now I, talk, I preach about this all the after time. And guys, strong is gonna roll into Polygon. Oh, yes. <laughs> So pretty much, once it rolls into Polygon, like I don't have all the exact details on this. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five here. I can. Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys are following up, I finally got my strong back. What happened was with Crypto.com. I sent strong to Crypto.com, and it took like a month and a half for them to finally send it back. It was so annoying. But then today, I thought I needed some more Ethereum to be able to buy my slotties. So I thought I was going to buy three. I couldn't get in there quick enough. So I took out like eight, nine, 10, 11. I took out three strong to put into ETH so you can get it. No worries. Um, I got eight here. I got one over here. Kind of need a little bit more, and I got another one. This overall, guys, I see this project is very long-term project, okay? I do, 100%. Uh, the only thing, it, can, what's that mean? Oh, it's the NFTs. Uh, but you have back over to here, to Sean Block. I want to see. This, the, by the way, the Polygon nodes are probably going to come out, like, I think it's going to be, like, next week. I don't know the exact date, but when this video comes out, it's going to be hard to come out Wednesday or Thursday, or even sooner. Polygon nodes, I don't know so much about them, to be honest. Um, I don't know all that's about it. Um, but yeah, Polygon nodes, that's me big. The current price of Strong right now went down before. I mean, guys probably knew it went all the way up to like a grand. It went down, I think it's like 500 bucks right now. Let's see. 47. So as you can see, it went up and plummeted down here. All the way up to like a grand right there. And plummeted. All right, but it doesn't mean it's a bad buy. I definitely don't I definitely believe in strong. I know they recover. Hopefully these polygon nodes are just gonna allow it to go back up by adding some new form of nodes. The reason why I think this price went down actually was because of all these other DAO or node-like protocols that came into place that offered pretty much like no gas fees. You know how much Ethereum gas fees cost, guys? It's crazy expensive. I did pull out my money from Strong, probably like 200 bucks. Some people I know are paying upwards of like two grand. My buddy has 40 nodes. He pays like two grand every single time he cashes out just in ETH costs, like gas fees. It's crazy. So hopefully when they involve these Polygon nodes, guys, I'm hoping that's gonna bring this price back up, launch it back up. I don't see why not. Matter of fact, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to, before the, like literally the day before those Polygon nodes pop out, I'm gonna convert all my shit back to strong. And because I think that's gonna increase the price. 
Also, a little bit other some other information about these polygon nodes. Like I said, I'm not an expert in this, but I do know some some some. But I do know some stuff about the polygon nodes. Like for example, the polygon nodes is an offer rewards not just in strong, but in other assets like polygon. Well, I think. But what I'm trying to say is not going to offer just strong rewards. It's going to offer other rewards too. I don't know exactly what they're going to reward you on. I'd imagine they're going to reward you with Polygon, you know. Oh. Isn't Matic? Yes, Matic. Yeah, imagine they're going to reward you with Polygon. I don't know exactly how this is going to work exactly, but I'm sure those developers know what they're doing. Look at the price of this. So, so sexy. Love Polygon. But yeah, guys, that's my video for today. By the way, guys, if you're interested in learning about the newest, greatest, best income producing assets, how to get them, how to buy them, and just be informed on when they're happening and know before everybody else, make sure you become a pro member. The link is down below in the description. Join pro, uh, pro crypto fans and we literally work with you guys one on one, guys. I'm sure you guys already have seen in the Discord what exactly we do. So make sure you check that out, guys. And what we're also doing, we're working on creating our own node infrastructure. We're not going to be doing that DAO thing like Ring does. We're doing things completely, completely different. But just to be able to provide you guys with utility for your investment. You already do is our investment right now. What currently we're going to is us just investing into these other income producing assets so we can get them out to you before. For example, Ring Financial. So lucky you guys hopped into our uh, pro membership man, because we took that monies and we invested into Ring Financial. We actually invested into like one gland. We also invested like the Snowbank. Uh, Snowbank was kind of a dud, um, but it allowed us to invest in other projects to be able to better your investments, find the ones that actually work. So for example, Ring Financial, like I said, we called that out like $10 before it was even on Cohen Gecko. We got a node at like a hundred bucks, guys. It's freaking crazy, 100, 120 bucks. Should have bought more, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, make sure you check out that link down below. Become a pro crypto fan. Um, start making some money today, guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Oh, and I'll see you up there. Where's that player? That's the top right there. I see at the top. Peace out.